and welcome or welcome back to the Honeycomb Reviews. My name is Aaliyah and today we're going to be diving into something a little different and super exciting. I decided I want to do a try a chapter romance vlog edition. Um, I'm super excited. I've got three really awesome books already picked out and yeah, I'm excited that you guys are following me today. <laughs> So I've got three tantalizing romance novels listed and lined up for us today. The first one is Mixed Signals by B.K. Borison, The Spanish Love Deception by Alina Armas, and Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. So my plan is to read a chapter or maybe a chapter or two from each of the books and then make a decision on which book I want to continue with for a reading vlog later on. So first up we have Mixed Signals and in this contemporary romance we follow Layla Dupree, a small town baker who has given up on love after a series of really disappointing dates but when Caleb Alvarez, a handsome local teacher, proposes a month of no strings dating to renew her faith in men the chemistry between them becomes undeniable and the urge to take things to the next level is more tempting than ever. I'm really excited about this because everybody says it gives you really big Gilmore Girl vibes. So super excited. This is author, also the author of uh, Love Light Farms, which I really enjoyed. So the next book on my try a chapter list is The Spanish Love Deception, which follows Catalina Martin, who needs an American boyfriend to accompany her to her sister's wedding in Spain. Erin Blackford is a colleague with whom she has a pretty contentious relationship with, and he offers to be her fake fiance. As they navigate this entire charade, they discover that their hate at first sight might turn into love at first sight. And lastly, we have Funny Feelings, which I was super excited about this one as well. And that's by Tara DeWitt again. And this swoony and heartfelt rom-com follows a comedian who must fake date her manager for publicity reasons. It's a story that definitely blends heart, humor, and the perfect amount of angst, promising to be everything that I think I'm going to be looking for in a really fun rom-com romance. So what I'm actually trying to do right now is make a decision on what book I want to start with. It doesn't really matter, but I'm, I like, I don't know. I, I, I need to figure out which one I want to start with. And I think I'm going to start with the Spanish love deception just because I've heard a lot of things about it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and start with it. It's also the thickest one. So like, I don't know how long the first chapter is. <laughs> But we're going to start with the Spanish love deception. So. I was just a little boy, everybody told me You could be whatever you want to be So I told myself, I'm going to be a singer, I'm going to play on the keys I can do whatever I want if I just believe Yeah, but then over the years Everybody's telling me to find a career and I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a tether for my bus pass too. I wish I could go back and tell myself that life is gonna hit you hard. They say money won't buy you happiness, but being broke really ain't a good time. So all I want is just to get paid. I know it ain't a shame, I'm trying to make a wage now. First, let's start off by talking about the Spanish love deception. Right off the bat, I could feel the angst between the two main characters brewing. Um, and I absolutely loved the writing style. The funny banter between the characters had me really hooked. Like I could feel myself like really liking that as the story progressed. And I can already tell it's gonna be like a reoccurring theme throughout the entire book, which kind of just makes me like so happy. Based on just the first chapter, I'm really enjoying it and I can see myself diving deeper, like I said. Um, I'm also excited to kind of visualize like what Spain's gonna be like and how this fake dating trope is gonna play out because there are just so many things that could go wrong with fake dating and this like fake relationship. So, and trying to like cover it up and hide it from her family. So I could totally see this, like having a lot of shenanigans and stuff like that, so. That sounds really fun and entertaining. Um, 
I think this is kind of up there with me maybe choosing it just because like I said I could see myself reading it and really enjoying it. One area that I would say that kind of maybe not scares me away from picking it as my next book is the length. I think it's about 430 pages for this book. It's a thick one and I don't want to put my because romance isn't a genre I normally lean towards. I don't want to put myself in a reading slump by reading like a book that kind of just goes on and on. So that's what I'm kind of worried about with this, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm super excited. I do really love the main cast of characters. They were really silly. I love like her talking and like pretending. So basically she's talking to her best friend and she's pretending like, I think his name is Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. I th she's like pretending like he's not there and she's like talking through her friend. So she's like, tell Aaron I said this. And I was just like, this is, this is so funny. Um, so yeah, super excited. We'll see. Everybody told me you could be whatever you wanna be. So I told myself I'ma be a singer, I'ma play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe. Yeah, but then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a tenner for my bus pass too. I wish I could go back and tell myself that life is gonna hit you. Okay, y'all, so next up we have Mixed Signals, which I'm super excited about. So based on the first two chapters for this book, because it was slight, the chapters were slightly shorter, I loved it. It is totally Gilmore Girl vibes. I'm, I just loved it so much. So there's a really cute small town vibe right from the beginning, and I can already see like this really cute, funny cast of characters forming. There's a lot of silliness and shenanigans, and I'm just excited to see like what kind of delightful, sweet treats are going to be brewing in this book. Um, one thing that stood out in the first chapter was the really cozy atmosphere from the very beginning. And the fact that you already love the main characters, like the main, the characters in here are lovable. I already know some of the side characters because I read the first book in Love Light Farm. So it's just kind of cute to see like a little cameo from them in there. You already love these characters and you're like rooting for this relationship to happen, which I think in the Spanish love deception, it's a little different because it's going from like a grumpy sunshine situation, which, so yeah, just a little bit different. And another thing that I really liked about the first chapter in this one is that there's a scene where the birthday boy is literally doing body shots with his family at this really like romantic fancy restaurant and the whole time in my head I'm just thinking how how many more shenanigans can possibly happen in this book and like what what's the rest what what else can this cast of characters do so I'm like really excited to potentially read this one and one thing that also is a little appealing it is is it slightly shorter um so yeah I I think I'm kind of leaning towards mixed signals I might sit on it a minute and think about it a little bit more but I think I'm leaning towards mixed signals but we'll see we'll see Okay, this is just like a brief intermission. I am a sucker for playlist. I love books that have their own playlist and this one has their own playlist and I'm super excited. So I don't know, now I feel like I'm a little biased to choose funny feelings. <laughs> Everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be So I told myself I'ma be a singer, I'ma play on the keys I can do whatever I want if I just believe Yeah, but then over the years Everybody's telling me to find a career huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes Thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a tenner for my... Okay, lastly is Funny Feelings I really wanted to like, I really want to like this book and I really like wanted to like the first chapter of this book. It's just that, I, I don't know, my first experience with the first chapter wasn't great and I think it's partially my fault. So I didn't realize how famous the main character um, in Funny Feelings is and 
I normally don't do well with reading main characters that are famous. I don't like fame in my books normally. And also the fact that she's a comedian, just based off like the first chapter alone, it just felt like the book, like every sentence was like punchline after punchline after punchline. And I get it, like she's a comedian, that's the whole point. But then in my head I was like, okay, this is just for one chapter, like, could you could you get over it for like the whole book is the whole book just gonna be like punchline after punchline like funny 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 like and it really wasn't like that funny to me but you know like it's supposed to be funny like is is this gonna be the whole book um and like i said i'm just really not a fan of reading characters that are super famous um and fame in books is normally a turnoff so this is more like a me problem i don't think it's the book problem i think if you do like reading like fame books and famous and stuff like that, you'll totally probably not be bothered by it. I just normally don't like that in my books. Um, yeah, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And another thing that I, I think because of, I think because I don't like reading fame in the books that, it, that I'm not drawn to this because I don't wanna put myself into a reading slump like I mentioned. So I don't think that this will be one of my top choices for my reading vlog. But we'll see. And I will say some things that I really do like about it based off of the first chapter are the soundtrack that the author gives us. At the beginning of the book, the author gives you like a playlist and I love when that happens. I love playlists that go along with the story. And there's like a couple of really good ones in here like um, Fool's Gold, One Direction, Run by Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran. There's a uh, Home by Ed Sharp, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, which I love that song. Um, and then there's also, it's called Free Fall, Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Like there's a lot of really good gold mines in here and just imagining it. So, I'm, so I don't know. In my head, I'm thinking we shouldn't judge the book based off its first chapter or should we? Like that's the whole point of this. So like, should I give it a chance? And like, this could be a really great book. And like I'm just letting the first chapter like the stuff in the first chapter get to me or what so I don't know I did really like the playlist and I really do love the like quotes I noticed that there's quotes before each chapter and the quotes really do like kind of encapture what the book is mainly about and some of those quotes are pretty powerful whenever I was looking at it and the author's um forward at the beginning is also really powerful so that's what I'm saying like I want to give it a chance I just don't want to put myself in a reading slump if it's just not a book for me We'll see. What book is your favorite? It's between those two. Oh, The Spanish Love Deception. That's your favorite? <laughs> Which book is your favorite? Yeah, no, pick a book. Which, which book? Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my, the books are, okay, okay. He doesn't care. Okay. That was a really intense period of reading. I'm so proud of myself. And I only took like four breaks. Wins, wins. Okay y'all, so after reading the first chapters of all three books, I've made my decision. I'm going to be reading Mixed Signals by BK Borson. And the reason I chose this book is that I'm absolutely like in love with the small town vibes, the charming cast of characters and the promise of sweet treats and shenanigans. It just feels like the perfect cozy read for me right now. So I'm really excited about it. But do not worry to any of the Spanish love, de love deception fans out there. I'm also really interested in the plot of this book as well. So there might be two reading vlogs coming your way. You never know the fake dating trope and the chemistry between the characters have me fully intrigued. I have to know how this goes. So I might be also reading the Spanish love deception too. So, we'll so with that, thank you so much for joining me on this try a chapter challenge. I hope you're all as excited as I am to dive into mixed signals and 
who knows maybe we'll be exploring the spanish love deception as well soon so don't forget to subscribe to the honeycomb reviews down below for more bookish fun and content and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos until next time happy reading my little bees gorgeous wait am i gonna finish this book in one day that's gonna be a really short walk wait girl what like what are you talking about <sighs> so i came in here to read and look who took my spot look who happily took my spot to read they're not moving. Like they do not care. They look like, please make me move. So I guess I'm gonna curl up over there.